Hello, my name is Spencer and welcome back to my hobby channel. I like storytelling through dioramas. These are some miniatures I had lying around. It is an explorer and a couple of wolves They will be the subjects of this diorama. First, I cleaned the plastic lines on the explorer. Then I moved to the base. I had a long strip of XPS foam lying around that I cut on my hot wire table. I then applied foam safe hot glue to the foam and stacked all the cuts together. Once the glue hardened, I took my hot wire cutter and shaped a slope. The vision for this project is a mountainside passage, so I shaped the foam to look like the rocks. The secret to the rock texture is to take an aluminum foil ball and push it into the entire surface. Then I rinsed and repeated until I had a satisfactory rock face. Then I made a terrain paste out of Mod Podge, water, and plaster. This paste ended up being quite liquidy when I applied it, and it made quite the mess. I then covered the rest of the base off camera to save you all from having to watch me play with wet goo. Then I took some foam chunks that looked like rocks and glued them to the base. Once the glue and paste dried, I primed the base. I also took this chance to prime my minis at the same time for a two birds, one stone situation. For painting the base, I started with a vague stone color for the base and then a darker gray for contrast. I also made sure to paint the rocks that I had added. Once that had dried, I applied a blue-gray wash to the whole of it in order to give it a colder undertone. I want this project to seem chilly. Then I dry brushed on a layer of the original lightest tone of stone to bring the colors together. I then applied a snowy terrain paste and smeared it around with my gloved hand, making sure I had it properly covered. While the base dries, we can paint the minis. I started by applying the light stone base to the wolves as an undercoat, and then added some darker browns for a better fur color. Once the first layer had dried, I then put on a black wash on the wolf in order to bring out the fur's details. Then I applied a dry brush of the light stone color to bring all the layers of the paint together. Then I went in to highlight the details of the ears, nose, mouth, and eyes. Once everything had dried, I made the teeth white, the mouth red, and the eyes yellow. While I assemble our explorers, I'd like to tell you about this diorama. The abstract for it is that two explorers are moving through a narrow, precarious mountain passageway and are about to encounter some hungry wolves. While maybe not the most complex story, I really enjoyed learning how to make a snowy diorama since this is my first one. Technically, painting the men is not that different from painting the wolves. It just goes base paint, layer highlights, put a wash on to bring the details back to the surface, and then dry brush with the base color.
When I choose colors to add to my diorama, sometimes I'm just drawn to random colors I have in my collection. For example, in this project, I made the horseman's bedroll brown rose because I really have no idea when else I'd use this color. Once the minis are painted and dried, we can clip them free of their bases and we can work on affixing them to the base. I sprayed the base down with some watered down white glue and then I applied some woodland scenic snow texture over the top. Then I started attaching the minis to the diorama using some glue. Once the minis are in place and the glue has dried, we can paint the sides black and move to some glamour shots. I'd like to take this moment to say thank you to each of you who stayed through to the end of this video. This is my silly goofy hobby and I love sharing it. I'll be back soon with a new tale to share. I hope you all have a nice week and I'll catch you in the next one.